So this question initially looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. Let's start reading and see if there's anything else that's here. So the question says the graph of a line in the xy plane has slope 2 and contains a point 0.18. So when I read that, right, I want to translate that first sentence. It causes me to think about another strategy that I use called plug-in picture, which is to say that anytime you read something from a word problem that can be drawn, it's a good idea to draw it. So I'm going to draw my xy coordinate plane. Anytime you're graphing, right, we know that you don't have graph paper here. Just do your very best, however, to make the graph as straight as possible and the units as uh, equally spaced as possible. So what do I know about this graph? Well, I know that I have a point at 1, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm right, trying to make that evenly spaced. I know it's not perfect, but if you usually if you try, you'll 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 um, see the benefit of at least trying versus just uh, not trying. So I have a point here, and I know the slope is positive too. So given that, I'm going to redraw this a bit larger and a bit further down, so I have more space. All right. So one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're here. And then I know I have a slope of two, so I'm gonna go up up two over one. So I'm there. So there's my line. I can even go down two over one, which takes me here. As you can see, my line is not perfect, but again, should not matter. Um, so now the next sentence says the graph of a second line passes through the points 1, 2. So 1, 2 is here. And 2, 1, which is here. Looks like it has a slope of negative 1, right? Down 1, right 1. So I can find my next point would be here. And my line will look like this. Then the next sentence says, if the two lines intersect at point A, B, well, we see where they intersect, right here, right? So they're calling this A comma B. What is the value of A plus B? Well, let's see, where would this point be? Well, I know that on this line, I have a slope of positive two, which means in the reverse, I can go down to right once, which would take me to negative 1, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma, 4. And in this line, I know I have a slope of negative 1, which means I could go up 1, left 1, so up 1 and left 1, which gets me to the same exact point, which means that my ordered pair here, my A, comma, B, is actually negative 1, comma, 4. So when, I, when the question asks, what is A plus B, I'm just adding negative 1 plus 4, which is equal to three. So that's my final answer. Notice I did all of that based upon the visual graph. So that's the that's the value of using the plug-in picture method here. Um, again, making sure that you do the best you can with spacing. But even without the spacing, because I used the slope, because I used the slopes that were provided and the slope I could figure out from here, it pretty it made it pretty accurate as to where this intersection point would be